Thanks. So, we exit the Challenge Cup in the sixth round against the world champions, but you must be immensely proud of your tides after that. Uh, one minute to go to half time, we're winning 12 10 hours. So, yeah, immensely proud. I thought, I thought we were great. I thought we were great. We went toe to toe with them in that first 40 minutes, and as I say, they kicked a goal to draw level with us at half time. So, uh, we, we had them. Um, we had them panicking a little bit, and I, and I thought we did again in the second half. I think they just come away in the start of the second half. They come out and blasted us a little bit. We got obviously Ollie uh, in the sim bin for the first ten minutes of the second half, and uh, they just overpowered us a little bit. But then we came back into it, didn't it? And what were it, 26, 18 on seventy minutes or something like that? So they were they were twitching a little bit, and uh, and that's what I'm really proud of. We talked about uh, building a game. I think we had ninety percent ball control in, in the first half we, we scored so a couple of track, uh, cracking tries uh, but yeah I thought I thought we um, we handled ourselves really well against obviously the World Cup, uh, the, the world champions. I think it was a case of ruffling their feathers and, and getting under their skin a little bit because it, they seemed to come out at last uh, that's it, second half first 10 minutes and they scored a couple really early on especially with that Simbin they really took advantage of that so yeah I'm proud no, obviously, you know, you're playing against a full team, the, the, the best team in the world, you know, the big Benrith Panthers here, so uh, I'm immensely proud of, of, of our effort and our performance, uh, but they can, they can go to another level and, you know, yeah, they might, they, they respect us by the, the team they put out, yes, they, you know, they had one or two missing, but only one or two, as in uh, Jay Field and uh, uh, the fullback, but, um, you know, we, look at our team, we had a ball out out and there were people that played a lot of rugby power, I thought were great. Uh, I thought Peter when he went, Isaac and all the boys that were in and around it, I thought, um, I thought, I thought they did themselves uh, a heap of good, so uh, proud of my boys. Uh, I think that, uh, you know, we, we, we're showing signs of improvement, which I, I talk about each, each week. We did last week against Toulouse, raised the bar again today. And, and, you know, 70 minutes, 26-18 uh, uh, is, a, is a credit to the boys. But, you know, we, we talked about what ifs, you know, and what if we score first? What if we're in this game after 40 minutes and what if and this? And, and I thought they took that into the game today and I thought that um, we challenged them. And I, I think that we've got a lot of confidence out of that. A lot of people uh, challenge themselves to and to judge themselves in a, in a big a big, uh, a big big game and I thought that there's loads and loads of positives. Yeah, the boys definitely stood up and, and possibly at, will outscore a lot of teams at the DWE that, that visit the World Champions. Um, in terms of moving on, you said it's, it's a step in, in the right direction after Toulouse last week um, and we've obviously been un unbeaten un un until this stage so you must be just looking forward to this rest of the season. <laughs> Yeah, uh, and obviously the big thing was today that we didn't come out of any injuries. Well, we had Ollie tweaked his calf at the back end of the game there. Mice came off it were more. Oh, it was uh, a, a wind in and, and all that sort of thing, I believe. So uh, hopefully it's not so bad because he, he, you know, we're back up next week. We're back in a week today. We're playing. We're playing Doncaster, a quality team. So all the work we've done today is great. The boys. Unless they're injured, have got a, a weekend off. But we've got to back up next week. All, all this journey that we've just done and the performance day don't count for anything because we're playing against a Donny team. So um, you know we need we need to you know, we need to enjoy tonight, um, have a good weekend. Uh, but we need to go in with the right purpose next week and and, and get it. And there's going to be a few. Uh, um, Tough decisions for me is what I would say next week because there's six or seven guys that'll be back available next week. Just looking ahead to Doncaster, uh, we obviously know how how close it can be in the South Yorkshire Derby as, as early in the season showed. But they had a good win against York um, last week, and uh, I'm sure they'll be right up for it once again. Yeah, there's no surprise with Donny, and, and I think people, um, you know, Carl and that plays it down a little bit. They've got a good team. They could be challenging for top six quite easily, you know what I mean? So, uh, the, the, you look at the players they brought in, Polly Polly, big big man, you know, Matangi, um, Rhys Lynn, uh, Craig Hall, these are all people that's played at a very, very high level in the championship year after year. Uh, Luke Briscoe and this, so they've got a good team. They've got a, a really, a real strong team, so, uh, you know, we had, a, we had a tussle with them in the 1895 Cup, didn't we, and, and came, uh, came through it, but uh, 
They played well against York. I've watched the game already, uh, and I know that if we're not up to where we want to be, uh, we'll come up. So, we'll come on soon. Just finally, uh, a word for those fans who, who travel to Wigan tonight on Friday night. Um, I think over 140, 150 fans here tonight, and they certainly made the most oh. deserved. Oh, they were great. As they, as they always have been, uh, they were loud and proud, and, and I, I would hope that the fun bus is having the fun that it usually has, and all the people that's made the, the trip have. Uh, I'm the proud of the boys, what they've delivered for them, because it, it was part of what we spoke about. Is, you know, let's be loud and proud, and let's make the fans proud of us tonight. And I think everybody associated with the club, um, and everybody who's travelled to the game tonight. And right, people who's listening on the radio, I think they can all be really proud of what the boys have stood up for today against hey, arguably probably the best, uh, well certainly the best team in the world. Uh, who's going to stop them this year?